Drake, you know, the dude from Canada. Aubrey Drake Graham, you know, the dude who was on Degrassi, the dude who became one of the most popular rappers of all time and one of the world's best-selling music artists. You know, everybody knows who Drake is. And then you have Anthony Fantano. <laughs> You know, the YouTuber who does uh, music reviews, gets everyone mad. And I think Anthony Fantano really loves Drake's albums. Just look at all the ratings he's given to his albums. <laughs> So, you know, Mr. Fantano drops, uh, you know, a video on his second channel, basically saying that, uh, you know, Drake DM'd him. I just want to tell you beforehand, the DMs in the video are fake. They're not the real ones. Don't be an idiot like me and actually believe it. In the video, Mr. Fantano showed that Drake sent him a, a vegan cookie recipe. And I just want to say, I completely believe this because it is something that I think that Drake would actually send to someone. Like, I think I'm a fucking idiot, but then there's like small part of me that's like, damn, this actually could have happened though. You know, a couple hours later somehow drake saw this video i don't know if one of his like ovo uh goonies sent it to him but uh he then proceeded to leak the actual instagram dms of him and anthony fantano uh they say your existence is a light one and the one is because you are alive and because you somehow wiped a black girl i'm feeling a light to decent one on your existence <laughs> If you don't get it at all, if you if you have not watched a single, uh, you know, Anthony Fantano video, this is he does like a rating system at the end of his videos. He's like, oh, like a strong to light, decent seven or something like that, you know, in that general like range. I think it's fucking crazy that uh, fucking Drake, you know, Drake himself was thinking of Anthony Fantano at 9:42 p fucking m. He was just probably i don't know laying in his fucking big ass mansion laying on his couch drinking some alcohol like he usually does because that's what he usually does on instagram live and probably gambling too he was probably just there just chilling just like damn i'm gonna dm this guy the dm is honestly kind of funny he's basically telling him to go kill himself <laughs> it's kind of weak at the same time look if i was drake and i had that much money and power i, I would literally just send this fucking ip address or just say that like i'm coming for you or something like something like that i don't know like you know make a good threat on his fucking life I don't know. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. I do not condone any threats on Anthony Fantano. I think he's a good guy. Also, it's kind of funny that uh, the melon left Drake on red. <laughs> I know Drake got fucking mad as hell when Fantano didn't respond to him because I know he was waiting for like a genuinely good like response to the DM and I know when he saw like the scene notification or when he checked it like a, maybe like two hours later he's like god fucking damn it and I've been watching Anthony Fantano and his music reviews for like maybe like three years I Drake knows more about his personal life than I do the only thing I knew about him was that he was getting divorced because that got leaked on Twitter by Playboy Cardi stands Oh my, I didn't know his girl was black. That's a, that's how you know Drake did some investigative research. And the response from Anthony Fantano? What would you expect? I mean, the dude started going fucking crazy on Twitter. <laughs> uh, he posted a tweet saying, That bitch shared the salty ass DM to over 100 million people. W. I made that man leak his own DM. He also, uh, went on Instagram Live and started talking about the entire situation. So I'll put like a little short clip there. The entire thing is like 14 minutes. You can probably find it on YouTube. Um, a couple of things were running through my head. One. Why is Drake messaging me? I'm not 18 years of age. That's kind of weird. That's the first thing I was thinking. Second thing I was thinking was that th this man is familiar enough with me to know my rating system, which is kind of odd, seems a little obsessed. Nobody with a brain would honestly think that Drake would DM me in the middle of the night to send me a vegan cookie recipe. Nobody would think that. Yeah, surely no one would think that. How stupid would they be to believe that he would actually send a vegan recipe to him? <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. I have a million followers. How do you let me get under your skin like that? I'm not even talking about you personally. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. You leaked your own DMs onto the internet. That's sad. That's pathetic. If I was Drake, I would not give an absolute fuck what a random bald dude on the internet uh, would think about my albums. You make a shit ton of money off of them regardless. Your last album was ass, I mean, personally. So uh, in conclusion, this isn't uh, something that I really expected that would happen. I didn't have this on my bingo card, but I mean, I didn't really expect in 2022 that Drake would be beefing with a music YouTuber and especially being left on red like that. That's kind of tough. Uh, that's the end of the video. I have no more input into this. So uh, yeah, you can click off. And somehow if you're still on this video, uh, uh, you mind dropping a like? I'll appreciate that. Uh, you can subscribe if you want. I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, you, you can you can subscribe. Please subscribe and hit that notification button. No, I mean you could do it if you want or not. Uh.
but yeah that's about it uh follow the twitch though that's what i'm actually gonna ask you to do please do please do that <laughs>